Welcome back, Sports Nation and my champions, and today we're going to be shifting our fantasy focus to the L.A. Chargers, so let's get right to it. Now we're going to start on the offensive side of the ball with a signal caller, Justin Herbert here, uh, coming into his second season, finished his QB9 in his rookie campaign, is currently going at about the 65th overall pick, that's a 6th round pick, 7th quarterback off the board. And to be honest, I think this is great value for this kid. Um, he showed he showed a lot of promise. Uh, I did talk about this and go into a little bit more detail in my QB1 targets. And he is one of the candidates I feel that could sneak into that top five. I put a ceiling as a top three quarterback. And, you know, for this ADP, that is extreme value for him. Next player I want to talk about is Austin Eckler. They're starting running back. He finished running back 26. Uh, Missed a few games uh, due to injury. It's going as the 15th overall pick. That puts him at running back 10. Uh, I think this is solid value for him. I did mention him in my running back one targets list who can sneak into the top 12 on the PPR side. Uh, his biggest knock is he's not, he tends to not get as many touches as a lot of the other uh, big players like the Dalvin Cooks, the Travis Henrys of the world. Uh, I think he needs more of a load in this offense. I'm not sure he's going to get it, but definitely a PPR beast. A lot of receptions. Uh, but temper your expectations with him. I had him as high as maybe an RB5 as a ceiling, but as low as a low-end RB2. So, uh, like I said, depending on how you feel about him, you may or may not want to draft him here in, you know, with the 15th overall pick. Next player I want to talk about is Keenan Allen, uh, their top wide receiver. Finished last year as wide receiver 13. He's going about 33 overall, which is equivalent to about a late third round pick. Uh, 11th wide receiver off the board. I think this guy's solid value. Uh, he got hurt a couple years back, came back, one comeback player of the year. And now uh, Herbert was a rookie. Uh, he's coming into a second season. I think this is even going to suit him even more. And, you know, and he is just a... Uh, uh, a target slash uh, reception hound Keenan Allen is on this team so I think I see nothing but good things with him I, I had him actually as a candidate to sneak into the top 12 of my wide receiver one target video on the PPR side and I have him as high as a, a wide receiver seven so I think I think you could do much worse at, at the 33rd overall spot than to uh, select Keenan Allen here Last guy I want to talk about uh, on this offense is Jared Cook. Now, they picked him up off of free agency. Uh, they lost uh, Hunter Henry to free agency and went to the Patriots. Henry finished as tight end 10 last year in this offense. Uh, Cook finished as tight end 18 last year. Uh, being drafted late, a third, 23rd tight end off the board. And to be honest... I put it as a question. I think there's a lot of good weapons around him, but he's been in the league quite some time, and I'm wondering, you know, how much gas does he have in the tank, especially for, like, PPR leagues? I would avoid him altogether. Maybe in standard, you know, he might get some red zone touchdowns, things of that nature, uh, but I, I think you could do much better at the tight end position than Jared Cook. Now, the defensive side of the ball, the Chargers finished 21st last year in fantasy, and they're being drafted pretty late, if at all, uh, 28th defense on average being drafted. Let's take a look at some of their impact players. Uh, similar to the Chiefs, they have a pretty good back end. They've, they've spent some draft capital here with Adderley and Derwin James. Uh, they got uh, Kenneth Murray a couple of years ago as an inside linebacker, solid guy there. Uh, Mike Davis is a guy they've kind of groomed up. They gave recently gave a, a big contract, uh, average over $8 million a year to start at corner. Pretty solid guy. And then, of course, Joey Bosa, kind of an all-world kind of edge rusher, defensive end type player. So, uh, However, they are missing a guy here, uh, and that's Melvin Ingram. And he was not re-signed. He's a free agent currently. And similar to the Chiefs, I think this is not a defense worthy of even being drafted right now. Uh, I, I don't see them improving anymore. As, in fact, they might even regress even more. Even with Bosa, I mean, only you know they only have one real pass rusher on the team now. And, you know, Ingram was getting hurt anyway. He's probably on the back end of his career. I, I see that, but... Uh, I, I think that coupled with the fact that I think the Chargers are going to get 
you know, improve even more on the offensive side of the ball, that you might see something similar to uh, the Chargers of the Dan Fouts days, more of an offensive oriented football team. So stay away from this defense. If you did enjoy this video, why not give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Put your comments in the section below. I read every single comment and I respond to just about every single comment as well. If you want to catch up to our 31 and 31 video series, click on these links right here. Thanks for watching and supporting this channel. And as always, play like a champion.